Hello, everyone, and welcome to the greatest show on earth, Cuck Me Curb's coding class. Today, we're going to be using the DuckDuckGo autofill API. No, it's not an official API. If you go to DuckDuckGo or anything, like they will not recommend it. But it's there. You can use it. So, yeah, if I just type in this box, like, let's just type, like, uh, A, you get popular things that start with the letter A, like Amazon, Among Us. Probably that one won't be up there for very long, but you know. <laughs> or like B, Bank of America. I don't know. It works. Let's get started. So, to get started, pop open your text editor. Alright, that took way too long to do, but I opened my editor. Make a new file, call it whatever you want, I don't care. I'm going to call it docs.html. And in here, we're just going to make a doc type tag. And then we are going to make an HTML tag. And then we're going to make a head tag. And then we're going to give the page a title. That's a good idea, right? So I'm going to just call it duck duck go autofill api and then we're make a body tag all right now we can slow down the first thing we're going to want to put in the body tag is a data list and what a data list does is it puts like the little suggestions on the bottom of an input box so data list and then we're going to have an id i'm going to call it list we're going to need the id for two things i'll explain later and then inside the list, basically for all of the options you want the autofill to include, you make an option tag, and then you give it a value attribute, and that is the text that appears, you know, under the thing. And the option tags, you don't need to close them. Oh, never mind, you do need to close them, apparently. I don't know. Anyway, don't put any option tags in your data list. You just want it to be empty. Now make an input, and let's give it an ID, too. I'm just going to call it input because that's a you know great name and then we're going to want to give it the list attribute and that's what's going to connect it to the data list we made up here so you just put the ID of the list which in this case is just list so list equals list and then you're going to want to put an on key up event on key up it could actually be on key press if you want I don't care but on key up equals and then you know the name of a function in here I'm just gonna call a new function I'm gonna call it check DDG which stands for auto duck, duck, go not autofill and then you're just gonna wanna put the little thing on the end of the tag now go back into the head tag and make a script script tag here and then in here or make a function function check DDG autofill fills it out stuffs these editors man they're so smart anyway use the web fetch API so just call the fetch function here and we are not going to be fetching DuckDuckGo because it does not allow you to it, it doesn't let you use cores and we need to use cores so what we're gonna do is we're instead gonna fetch HTTPS colon slash slash I'll put a link to this in the description so you don't have to type it all out cores dash anywhere dot heroku app dot com and then slash and the actual duckduckgo endpoint so in this case https colon slash slash duckduckgo dot com slash ac slash question mark q equals and then we here we can do plus document dot query selector and then in parentheses and in quotes hashtag input and then at the end of it dot value and let's just do alt z so that it wraps around you know and then we're gonna do plus again and in quotes simply and symbol ampersand KL equals WT dash WT. And now 
we need to pass another parameter to it because we are using cores anywhere and cores anywhere requires you to use specific headers for your request so open curly brackets in here and I'm gonna put it on a new line just for readability purposes we're gonna do headers colon new space headers with a capital H and then in parentheses we are going to make another curly brackets and then I'm gonna put it on another line for readability you don't actually have to do this and I'm gonna do and in quotes X with a capital X dash requested can't spell requested dash with also with a capital W and then colon after the quotes and then in quotes here you can put literally whatever you want it does not matter as long as if there's something there so yeah I don't know okay next here at the end of the fetch don't put a semicolon at the end of the line and add a dot then and then in parentheses just do a equals sign greater than sign a dot json open parentheses close parentheses now the reason it's a is just because it's one character it's super fast to type and yeah this basically just interprets the response don't put a semicolon at the end of this line though and then add another dot then and then here we're going to do result equals sign greater than sign and then in curly brackets we're going to press enter and we're going to do not do document dot query selector in parentheses and in quotes hashtag list or you know hash or number pound I don't know whatever you want to call it dot inner HTML equals open quotes close quotes just clear it out and make it empty then we are going to make a for loop so for in parentheses I in result because the result just returns an array and then oops I put a P there where is that no 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 okay now we're gonna do another document dot query selector and then in parentheses of course hashtag list and then we're gonna do dot inner HTML plus equals because we're doing this multiple times we're adding to it so you want to have all of the results in there and then we're gonna do these weird quotes here that are uh, on the tilde key you have to open them and close them yourself the editor does not close them automatically but anyway make an option tag inside of them option and then we're gonna do value equals and then regular quotes dollar sign open curly brackets and then we can just do results in square brackets I close square brackets dot phrase and the phrase is the only thing that's in the result so I don't know why they don't just put it straight in there but hey I didn't write the API I wouldn't know then close the quotes and then do the little thing there and close the option tag great now we can put a semicolon at the end of this line and we can put a semicolon at the end of this line and we're done super easy so now just hit whoops hit go live or you know open the file in your browser and is it opening oh yeah it's just a little slow today why is it so slow okay let's put something in here let's do a uh, Firefox and would you look at that we got some some options here we can type in like fish I don't know anyway as you can see it works thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe uh, buy my merch if you want I, don't, I mean Nobody's ever bought it, so if you want to be the first person to do that, feel free. I don't care. And remember, if you lock the door.